What's up guys, Tony here back with a brand new video in today's video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take corner kicks. Yep. Okay. So, the first thing you want is to start with the ball. Fortunately, I don't have the ball, so we're going to have to play along. Let's try and get a corner ASAP. So I'm going to try and do, let's get a corner, like, like that. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is look at the radar. Okay, you want to look at the radar. You want to see an open player around this area. Over here, look where I'm aiming. Look where I'm aiming. So it should be somewhere around here with half power. Okay. Now, your player has the ball. Okay. You look for a player. Do quick passes. I missed. Unfortunately, I missed. But from when you pass it, you have to be creative. You have to be creative with your passes. Let me try and get another corner. Let's try and get another corner. Oh. Try to get the corner, but I can Tr keep trying to get the corner. Can I do it from here? No, 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 no. I have to be a little bit like, ah, like that. Yo, this goalkeeper so bad. Come on. The thing is with corners, corners are not that are that common but they're not that hard to get oh, i just scored do not want to score it's not for scoring In corner kicks you always want to just pass it over there in that area from there you know what to do from there it's all up to you Let's do it. Maybe I can get it with B. Come on, give me the corner. Shoot it from here. Corner. Oh my gosh, I am so dumb. Forgot this existed. Okay. So I can explain better. Radar over here. Good aim. I can see that he's open. Oh my gosh. I pause. I can't. Okay, which means that we're gonna have to now he's open here so we can chip. Turn around shot at once. If you have proper aim it will go in. We don't talk about that. The, when you do it very, you have to chip it a little. Then you have to find someone else to shoot it in. If you do it mid, over here, it won't work. You want to do it just like that. Open over here. Turn around shot at once. Yep. And that's how you do a corner. Once you improve, you can do it like me. Which I'm not trying yet. And I'm going to start trying. Trying to slowly. I suggest you do this in. Oops. I suggest that you go into training mode, do this for a long time. How I scored on our left. Another way to do it is when there's a player over here, do this. Over here. Fine. One. Two, shoot, in. Again, one, 
two, three, shoot, in, perfect. And over here it's one, two, but well, that's supposed to be three, but it didn't work. Let's do it again. When you do it full power, this is what happens. See? That's why full power doesn't work. Again. One. Oh, that was this horrible pass. Okay, let's do this again. One, two, ah! You have to have half aim, it's very important. One, two. If you don't want to use him, you can't because you have to use him. Or else you're just going to hit him. One, two, find someone and shoot. Do this again. Just trying to avoid him. See, it's impossible to avoid. When your player's there, you have to use him. One, chip, and shoot. Even if, even if it's with the weak foot. You get another corner, and you do it again. When you do a little bit closer, you just need one, two shot. In. All depends on, oh, it's going to hit him. No, it didn't. Oh, it's a surprise. One, two, three. Uh, let's do it again. When you do mid power over here, turn around shot once. With a good aim, it will go in. If you do it all the way back to Hernandez, you have to do specific passes over here. Oh, my not like that okay do it to Hernandez again one two ah three was supposed to be there but no this game doesn't like me one two or you can double tap and hope I've actually scored double tapping let me try that again one two double tap three almost but I got it at the end if you don't know what double tapping is, if you double tap the screen like one, one two, um, yeah, it will automatically for you if the ball's in the air. So let's try and do this over here. It's not going in for sure. But at least you get another corner. Experiments. Always experiment. You can adjust mine. Mine's very adjustable. One, two, three, four. See, there's many ways to do this. Hit him, hitting him. Oh, no. One. Two, three, messy, turn around shot. Ooh. Sometimes, if you do it wrong, it's not going to work. My, I myself am starting to get better with it, with the um, accuracy. Also, in when you're online, it's kind of easier, which sounds very weird, but it's kind of easier kind of easier because you can when you get it to the third per, the last person if they slide tackle you penalty they get red card and you score that's if you're good with penalties so what you have to do is keep practicing this i'd say practice this 10 times a day or like no not 10 times 10 minutes a day so you can get better at it i do that every day and yeah, i'm slowly getting improving another thing is formation does matter Depending on your formation, you might have different things. Let's use... People use a 4-5-1 a lot. I've seen that. Let's see how 4-5-1 is. Bam. Don't mind all the three red cards. We don't talk about those. When you use different formations, it also makes it different. So with your formation, you have to adjust to it. The passing will work, but from there, that's going to be different. Example, look, 451. I can now I can see a lot of options. There's a lot of options. I'm not used to this, so yeah, it's going to be very difficult. But yeah, I'd suggest going 433 or 422. 442, my bad. This barely works, if you know it. Which is why you should always try and use this strategy when you can I always suggest going 442 because that's a very good formation along with a very good strategy corner strategy 
I myself always go for two attacking. Now, regardless if you're defensive, mid, moderate, or attacking, it won't matter for corners. Trust me when I say that. In this strategy, it won't matter. One, two, in middle. If you need to chip it, three, get some space, and ah, uh, it's good defending. One, at once, turn around shot. Ooh, always have to adjust the power. You can either use B or C, whichever you feel is right for the situation. I feel C is right, and I was right. Always near half power or a little bit more. Bang, I think A. I think B was good for that situation. Fortunately, hit the player. One, two, three, four. And if you need to start playing passing a bit, then yeah, go ahead. Because your opponent's formation also matters. If they're in defensive, then you have to do a little bit more passing before you even think of shooting. Okay, this is another one. Do it very close. That's another strategy. Let me show you. You do it to this... Oh, wait. Get out, get out, get out. This player. If you do it to this player, full power into them. Over here, shoot. Over here and to here, double tap. Ooh. Always just try your best into doing this strategy. Always just do your best. And in time, you will be making these in no time. If you watch my videos, you guys know that I use this a lot. Um, yeah, even though like Jeff mentioned me in one of his videos on my corner kick strategy Because it's very very useful And yeah, hopefully you guys learned more about the strategy Be sure to like Comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next DLS video See you guys